Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 1998 Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI Wolf soft top. Um, the Wolf is the uh, the ex army version um, with the 300 TDI engine. And say so this is a 1998 example. Finished as always in uh, military IRR drab. So as always, I suppose some have had a colour change since they left the military, but um, the military ones uh, do tend to be this colour. And this one's still got the uh, the chalk numbers on the uh, on the doors, which is um, quite unusual. Fitted with a matching set of Goodyear G90 um, proper military spec tyres on it. It's got all the all the correct Wolf bits on it: the military front bumper, all the extra um, fitments on the the bonnet and the front wings for aerials and things. The winterised air intake. Uh, it's got the spare wheel mounted on the side. Um, inside it's got the military roll bar and uh, power steering. Um, around the tail end it's got uh, NATO, it's got the rear bumperettes, NATO tow hook. At some point, as you can see, it's acquired a, an unpainted tailgate. I uh, don't know why, but that's probably when it was in military service. Um, it's a, a completely standard wolf just had uh, the cam belt replaced properly um, recently serviced and in uh, in my opinion very good order all round actually um, obviously paintwork wise being a wolf you know the, the, the paint fades and it's probably a couple of different colours um, this IRR drab is um, I wouldn't say it's designed to look shabby but uh, it's, it's not peeling off the way that some of them do but it is what looks to me like the original uh, the original paint on it so it's quite uh, quite patinated shall we say this one but um that's what they're supposed to be like not all bright and shiny anyway around the front end we've got a couple of minor dinks we've got a small dink just there and a scratch on the top of the offside front wing there not really important in fairness um, possibly this wing has been repainted or may even be a replacement wing I don't know because it does seem to be a very slightly different shade of um, IRR drab to the to the bonnet should we say but uh, again military patina um, slight dink just there in the top of the offside near side front wing I'll show you the chassis on the near side here so it's got the proper steering guard on it Chassis has not been coated in any nasties. That's just mud on the back there from where it was raining here. Um, scuttle corner on the near side is very good indeed. Screen rubber has seen better days, as is often the case. Screen has got a repaired chip just up there, but otherwise all looks good. A post is fine. A little bit of wear on the um, uh, on the modesty cover down there just when big boots getting in and out of it and a bit of electrolytic reaction on the base of the near side rear door just there uh, but the interior door card is all nice the frame actually feels pretty good and it's not leaving a trail of rust down there um, footwells as you can see got a small bit of rust just up there on the uh, on the bulkhead but the actual actually lower down here on the footwell and the, the well itself is all very good indeed but they say there is a little bit of rust just up there on the bulkhead um, but up in the corners here it all looks to be pretty good um, inside wise it's got the original uh, two-man bench seats either side in the back uh, passenger seat has got one or two minor nicks in it in the base just one there and one there in the backrest uh, the dash is the proper military one with all the um, map light and everything and the fire extinguisher the near side rear wing is all good looking underneath the near side rear of the chassis hopefully you can see what that's like under there And then round the tail end, bit of reaction just there on the bottom. We talked about the tailgate, although this one has got a few dinks. It's got a dent, couple of dents in it where it's put down onto the tow hook. Uh, looking down the offside, again, okay, looks pretty straight down there. Nothing really too 
um, comment on adversely. Under the back end on this side. Give you a good look at what's there. Offside rear, uh, so offside door again, bit of reaction down there on the back of the door and the same sort of wear on the modesty cover. Um, that mirror housing has got a broken bit on it just there. Um, scuffle corner on the offside, bit of paint's come off, so a bit of surface rust showing just there, but uh, no more than that, I don't think. And offside front wing, we've talked about a little dink in the front of it just there. Let's have a look underneath at the chassis on go from this side. Again, a bit of mud in the corner there. Otherwise, it looks as it should. And in here, again, driver's door card is pretty good. Driver's footwell and is all nice. Um, driver's seat has got a bit of, it hasn't split it, or has it split it? No, it hasn't yet. Just the, the piping is warm there, but it's starting to split a little bit there. Um, you can see the driver's seat there. It's got the proper sort of infrared thing here, which flips down. Um, yeah, it's uh, about the third wolf we've had through our hands this year, and it's you know it, it's uh, it's probably one of the lower mileage ones we've had at 144,000 kilometres. Um, it's in it's in nice shape. It's in nice shape, in my opinion. So there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118. 907-1495. We can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.